Just let it go, ma'am. He wants to get married. I mean, it's his life. What can you do about it? What, and you think I don't have an interest? Yeah, of course you do, but it's his life now. Yeah, and he's ruining it. Oh, come on, ma'am. He knows his own mind. This is like doing his A-levels, and you getting worked up about it is not going to make any difference. You've not learned, have you, ma'am? Do you really want another three months of not speaking? No, I don't. Mm. Well, I'm still going to tell him that he's making a mistake. I'm his mother, and that's my duty. Oh, come on. No, I mean it, Jason. I'm not going to drop this until I get through to him. Dev? Good. Can I ask a favour? Sure, there's no harm in asking. Oh, here she is, the light of my life. Mm. Sorry, Todd, Todd was just better to ask a favour. No, no, if it's not a good time. No, 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 no you, you far away. I just uh, wondered if there was any overtime going. Uh, certainly. <laughs> Excuse me, I was under the impression this was my shop. One of them, darling. Well, indeed. And certainly you can have overtime. How does this afternoon suit? Great. Good. Get your coat, then. Sorry? You can. You're taking me shopping while Todd ends his overtime. Honestly, and they say management is difficult. Can we talk? Right, now, are you sure everything's going to be all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's fine. Mm. Is it? As long as people accept me and Sarah are going to get married. <clears throat> and if some people don't? Then that's their problem, isn't it? Todd, you're going to be at 19 tomorrow. What are you doing getting yourself tied down? It's what I want. <sighs> You know, you shouldn't be thinking about marriage for at least the next ten years. You should be out living while you're young. Why do people go on about life being out there somewhere, eh? If you're happy in your own backyard, why move? Because you don't know any better. D don't patronise me. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. Nick went all the way to Canada. Where's he end up? Back here, cos it's what he likes. Oh. Well, yeah, at least he went and he had a look and he's uh, keeping his options open in case he wants to go back. Look, I am really, really happy where I am. Why can't you just accept that? Because in ten years' time, you will have changed into a different person and you'll regret it. No, we don't know You'll that. regret it and there'll be nothing that you can do. The best years of your life, wasted, gone. Well, it might seem like light years away now, Tom, but I tell you, it'll be here just like that. Light years measure distance, not time. Oh. Well, if only you could be that clever about this decision you're making. It's my life. I'll do what I want. If I mess up, I'll only have myself to blame. Yeah, but I want to save you from all that. And I want you to stop living my life for me. What you want isn't going to happen. I am marrying Sarah, whether you like it or not. So, I managed to talk some sense into him. I'm afraid, Eileen, after all I've been through with him in the past few months, I'm not going to even try. You are? Have a seat. Oh, so it's just uh, all left up to me, then, is it? But you're not telling me that you're condoning this wedding, Gail. I'm no more happy about it than you are. Well, what can we do? The harder we try to break them up, the stronger they get. You know as well as I do that this is all just going to end in tears. Part of me thinks that. Part of me is not so sure anymore. I mean, I thought they'd have split up by last summer at the latest. I'd have put money on it, but... Maybe we've underestimated him. Gail, we have got to stop this wedding. I think we'd be wasting our time. Like I say, I've only just got Sarah and Beth back after hardly seeing them for the past few months. If keeping them means agreeing to what they want, then as far as I'm concerned, they can go ahead. We're meeting in the Rovers tonight to mark it. If you don't want to lose Todd the same way, maybe you should join us. Quiet. Yes, yes, being one of those days. You can get off now, Sarah, if you like. Haley's back. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go and spend some time with Beth, Nick. All right, yeah, I will do. Thank you. Actually, there was something that I wanted to tell both of you. Nothing bad, I hope. Well, some people might think so. Me and Todd are getting married. Oh, well, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, yes, that's it. It's good news. Have you named the day yet? No, we've only just decided. So who's not happy about it? Your mum? Well, she's all right about it, actually. It's Todd's mum who's against it. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll come round. We're supposed to be going out tonight to celebrate with the family. Oh, you must. Do you want a babysitter? I, I promise I'll keep a close eye on her. Yeah, uh, that would be great, thank you. About 7.30. Yeah, I'll see you there. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, goodbye, then. Bye, thank you. See ya. Bye. That's a turn-up. Yes. Oh, don't you approve, either? 
I, I know they're young, but I felt like I had to congratulate her. You know, they've been through so much lately. No, no, it's, it's just, um, I was thinking that Todd's doing just what I did. He's, he's marrying the girl he got pregnant. The, the difference being that, uh, well, they're doing it for love. Well, we got married because we love each other. Yeah, yes. Already forgotten. <laughs> Right, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be right. Oh, here they are. Hiya. Congratulations. Thank you, Gran. <laughs> Welcome to the family, Todd. Oh. Thanks, Audrey. Oh, now you'll look after him, won't you? I will. Don't worry. Well, he's not made too bad a job of it so far. <laughs> oh, are you really pleased, Gran? Sweetheart, if it's what you want, of course I am. But it's not going to be a bed of roses. They'll be rough as well as smooth. I think we know that already, don't we, sweetheart? You all right, bro? Hey, there's still time to do a run if you want. Hey, shut your face. Well, you change your tune. Yeah, well, uh, there comes a time if you can't beat them, join them. You really mean that? Well, you're going to need all the help you can get if this marriage is going to work. Oh, Mum, hey, come here. Mm. You don't know what this means. Yeah, and you don't know what marriage means. That's two of us who don't know what we're on about. Thank you, Eileen. Now, come on, what are you drinking? Oh, I'll have um, a lime and tonic with ice cream. All right, Todd, what do you want, love? A uh, pint of lager, please. Come with you, Mum. Did you get that now? Go ask you what you think. Well, I like Alina, except it's happening, so there's no point going on about it. Yeah. I hope you both be very happy. Thanks, Nick. She seemed happy enough to be back at nursery. She went straight in without even looking back. How do you feel about leaving her there? Yeah, fine. Well, no, actually, I... I stood watching her at the window for five minutes. Then I thought, hey, come on, don't be so silly. I've got a lever, so I did. Uh, in the back, is he? Yeah. Dev's lady friend. Oh, she's not right polite, is she? Todd, my invaluable right-hand man, you now. Can you delay your lunch break for an hour or so? No, that's cool. Cheers, kid. Listen, it might get you a bit more an hour. Hmm? Yeah, it's like I said, you know, the more hours I can do, the better. Yeah. He's keen. Well, me and my girlfriend are thinking about getting married, so uh, every penny helps. Really? Getting married? Yeah. yeah. So young, so foolish. Let's go. That's what I was thinking. You don't look old enough. Yeah, looks can be deceptive. Let's go. Have you got any wedding gifts yet? Uh, no. No, we've not even started planning it yet. Not really. Hmm. Then here. Your first wedding gift. Hope it makes you happier than it has us. Uh, right. Uh, thanks. Should we go then? Yeah. She said it was a wedding present. Yeah. But we don't even know her. I know. So, what's she buying us a wedding present for? Well, I'm not saying she went out and bought it specially. She just sort of had it with her. <laughs> what, she carries vases about with her? What's she do? <laughs> In case someone buys her flowers? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do what you like with it. Throw it away if you like. No. We don't have to keep flowers in it. Can't afford to. And anyway, Bethany would eat them. Present. It's our first wedding present. Oh, Todd, it's our first wedding present. <laughs> We've got to keep it. Keep it forever. Right. Mm.